Okay, this is going to be a, a tutorial on using the GIMP to help um, set up some slices of some of an image for a website that you're going to design. So I've got a um, the beginnings of website design here, at least just the header portion, really, just the header part. Um, but I'm going to zoom in first of all. Okay, and I can see here in this graphic that the majority is this gradient here, and then there's a gradient here and there's actually white at the top. I'm not sure if the person wants to have the white at the top or not, but let's say, assume we don't want the white at the top. Okay. Well, if we don't want the white at the top, then what we could do is we could take a little, get our marquee tool here. First thing I do is get like a, um, let's see, I'll put that right there and make a selection, just a slice of this part with the black background right here. Okay, I like that, right? I got my little selection there, my marquee tool, and I'm going to say uh, edit, let's see here, paste as new image, right? So I'll paste that as a new image, and then um, what I can do is now I've got a little slice here, right? And I could say file, save as, and I'll save it as a file type and I'll save it as a, maybe I could save it as a GIF. One way I could do it is save it as GIF. And I could say it, call it header uh, underscore BG dot GIF. Okay, and hit save. Uh, and let's save it to desktop save um, and it says whoops convert it to an indexed image using the default settings and click yes okay yes export nice uh, created with GIMP interlace sure why not and save all right I haven't done this in a while I'm also going to save it file save as I'm also going to save it as file type and probably save it as a JPEG. Always good to have a JPEG. JPEG to the desktop, hit save. Uh, JPEG can't handle transparency, flatten image, and uh, export. Okay, quality 85. I could probably take that down to 75 and save. All right, so I've got that. So there's that. Now I've got this uh, marquee tool. I'm going to just click on the background to deselect, and now I need to zoom out. So I'm going to get my zoom tool, hold down the shift key or the control key or the alt key. Which one is it? Can't tell. I'll just click on zoom out over here in the palette window and zoom out. Okay, now what I need to do is Okay, this is the whole image. I need to get just the image of these earrings, right? I need to get that. So let me zoom out a little bit more to 50%. Get my marquee tool and just grab that portion, that portion right there. Okay. All right, that looks good. And then once again, I'm going to say edit, paste as new image. And it still has the old one, so maybe I didn't cancel. Save that, don't save. Maybe I still need to copy this. Edit, copy, then edit, paste as new image, and there it is. Okay. And I'm going to do a file, save as, and then this time I'm definitely going to save this as a JPEG. And the other thing I could do is, before I do that, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to cancel this too. I don't believe I need to have this black area. Um, I don't believe I need to have this black area completely uh, selected. So let me do this selection again. I'll deselect. And I'll go here, and I'll try to reset. I'm just going to 
go to where the black starts. Yeah, right there. That way, the image is smaller. Okay, there it is. And now, Control C to copy or edit copy. Edit copy. And then edit, paste as a new image. And there it is, right here. And then file, save as a JPEG. JPEG image, save, export, quality 85, yes, yeah, sure, and save. So now I've saved this image, and I've saved the slice for this background area right here, right? And um, these fonts I'm not going to get because I'll have to use a font within my web tool if I'm using a database-driven web tool like Joomla or, or some other uh, program. I'll, I'll wait to get the fonts in my CSS coding for when I get to the website. But that's just a little bit about how you could do some slicing for your site using the GIMP. A couple of tricks. Okay, let's say for instance, now I've got these two images, and uh, let's say for instance that this image um, just, you know, it's a few pixels too uh, tall, and I need to crop it, essentially. What would be the best way to do that um, using the GIMP? Well, one thing you could do um, using the GIMP is you could go to Image, and you could go to um, Canvas Size, and it brings up this dialog box, right? And then what I could do is I could unlock the dimensions, right? And I could say the height, let's say I want it to be smaller, let's say I need it to be crop it a little bit. So I could take it down to 110, right? And right now you could see if I do this quite a bit that it's cropping it from the bottom up, right? Bottom up. But if I wanted to, I could take this Y offset and I could move it down so that if I Y offset it, let's say negative uh, 28, it will um, crop and down from the top instead of the bottom. But the default is that if I say I want to crop it from the original dimensions to, um, let's say, what did I originally say, 100 or 110? Let's say 100, okay? It's going to crop from the bottom up. And so I click Resize, okay, and and it just cropped up, you know, 18 pixels or whatever it was. But that's one of the best ways to do an exact cropping is use, um, I'm going to edit, undo that, okay. One of the best ways is to use image canvas size. And if you want to do a separate um, uh, width, separate from height, then make sure you unlock the uh, lock symbol here. And then you can crop, change the canvas size independently for the width and the height. And you can use this offset tool to, um, you know, to cut from the left or the right or the top or the bottom.